Good evening, my name is Da Vinci and it's uh, December the 12th, 2009. I uh, just came back from watching the movie Collapse and uh, it's a documentary that's uh, predicting the uh, collapse of our civilization. Now, immediately you were like, okay, whatever, right? Uh, I, I decided to go into this movie with saying, thinking that, hey, you know what? I'm not going to buy anything that this guy says like I don't buy anything the mainstream media says. And I'm only going to base anything that he says based on what are absolutes. Right? I'm only going to believe absolutes because that's the way I'm going to start looking at any media information. So he said a lot of things. I'm like, yeah, that number's interesting. How'd you get it? How was it calculated? <laughs> right? <laughs> like, for example, the calories. How many calories is for each uh, that that goes for each calorie you consume? Ten calories goes into producing it. I mean, you could think about it and say, "Yeah, I guess so," but I'd like to see the the data on that, right? I don't want to take his word for it. But one, uh, a few things that really stuck out in my mind uh, that was. Um, very interesting and very scary um, was the chart of of uh, human population growth and the reason why I found that very scary is because Don Harrell has taught me that when you're watching charts they always when things go straight up they always crash back down well the human population has gone straight up and there hasn't been a crash right since the bubonic plague so um i don't know are we overdue right i'd like somebody who who looks at technical analysis to ignore the human factor and uh look at that plot those chart those numbers on the chart look at that and see it, where's where's that uh, where do you um what is the the human population correct cuz that's an absolute we can't grow uh have unlimited growth we can't have unlimited growth it's, it's a mathematical absolute so i don't know about that i don't know where we are in that chart whether we can grow another, whether we could double the population again and continue. I don't know. <laughs> right? But I know that, uh, that that can't continue forever. Anyways, that's one thing I took out of the, the movie. And another thing was um, he ain't no Al Gore. That um, he's not going to make a lot of money off of probably this film. And um, in the end, it said that he was um, he was broke and um, couldn't pay, make his rent and might be evicted. Right, and uh, you know he's he's uh, Michael. Um, I think Michael Rupert is his name. The um, the person who was uh, in the documentary, who was just the one person speaking. And they had flashes of images and stuff like that. That was um, uh, that old footage and stuff like that. And uh, another thing that I, I took out from the movie was the the uh, the ten thousand monkeys um, scenario that he's trying to accomplish. Well, basically the story goes and uh, like this: uh, they they nuked an island somewhere in the uh, Pacific Ocean, and they wanted to see how long before life. Scientists want to see how long before life can survive on that island. So a few years later, they came, brought 10,000 monkeys, and of those 10,000 monkeys, they started eating the coconuts. So the scientists decided, uh, they found out that the, the, these uh, coconuts, the outside shell of the coconuts, were radioactive. So the, the scientists decided to show 10 monkeys how to wash those coconuts in the, 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 the stream, the freshwater stream, first before eating them. And at first, uh, 12 monkeys started uh, washing the coconuts, and then slowly a few more, and 
few more. And then finally, when the 100th monkey actually started washing coconuts, all of a sudden, all 10,000 monkeys started washing coconuts. So what he was trying to say is that um, that we could survive this um, if we learn what to do and how to survive. And I agree because um, because we can you know, like on my land, right? I, I have a fifty fifty by one hundred and fifty foot property here, and I've got a huge backyard. I can grow a lot of food, more food than I can actually eat. So, you know, this is enough to sustain, like, you know, a lot of people, like, not just my, my, my whole community can also, also grow food, too. And the, they could obviously, since they can sustain their whole family, they could obviously sustain uh, uh, other people that do not have the same property. So anyways, that means we can uh, definitely get out of this and survive this, this, uh, this, this collapse of society. Now, I felt the movie was pretty good, and uh, at the end of the movie, I was speaking to quite a few people that, that left the movie, and most of them just said it was just bullshit, basically, and they didn't believe it, and they thought it was fake, and, and uh, you know, and I tried to explain to them, hey, listen, you know what, look around you, this is, this is the, the Titanic has hit the iceberg, right? And, and you want to, to be the person who's going back to the bar? Right? And that was one of the analogies that the person, uh, Michael, Michael um, had in his movie. And I'm like, you have, to, you have to realize that this is going on. They're printing more money than, than there is wealth. Right? And you have to agree with that. I mean, we have interest rates at zero. Why don't you? Why do you not see this? And 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 they 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 went on to say that yeah they agreed with some of the things but you know overall yeah well it's all gonna be good right and then I I tried to talk to them about gold right and they said well you can't eat gold and uh, basically I realized that you know those people are just going to uh, ride the Titanic down and I mean you can't save them. So, um, overall, this, I believe this movie is not going to have any kind of impact on, on, uh, on the population. Um, no, not, not many people are going to see it, and the few people that do um, are either going to be people like me that agree and see this coming, or, and, 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 or the people who just say, okay, this is bogus, and, and that's it. So... That's it for the this movie review. Uh, I know it wasn't the greatest review, but um, uh, that's not my my thing. Neither is these videos, but hey, I enjoy them anyways. So thanks for watching my videos, and let's comment below. I'd like to talk about it, and if you've uh, seen it, uh, please let's discuss and uh, and have a little bit of a conversation. Thanks for watching my video.